Okay, good morning. Um, really good to see you again. Um, obviously, you've got new teachers in, in front of you today, so good morning to them as well. Um, we're in week two or three of the reopening. Um, welcome back to last week's students. So we had a really good day last week um, and also a good week since. And a special warm welcome to all those who weren't here last week, but they're brand new with us today because they couldn't make last week for various reasons. Um, really good to see you all. Okay, a bit of news for you. Mrs. Miss Lomaz is now Mrs. Perriam because not Saturday was gone, the Saturday last weekend, um, she got married. So many congratulations to her. So try and get that in your brain now. It's Mrs. Perriam. Um, this assembly is actually going to be looking, can we learn or change anything from, as a result of COVID-19 and lockdown? Um, across uh, the UK, we're starting to come out of lockdown. Uh, England a little bit advanced more than us and, uh, and have uh, relaxed it quite a bit. Uh, Wales, was, we're starting to go down that um, kind of road now. Um, but is there anything that we can change if we get back to some sort of normality? Change for the better, that is. There's a couple of quotes there that, you, that I'd urge you to, to, uh, to read now, you know, because it has been a difficult time. And uh, when there are such, as the bottom one says, if there is a problem, it is a chance for us to do your best. And you can look at your work, you know, how you've helped your family, etc. So have a read of, of those. Pause the video if you need to. Just ask your teachers to do that. Okay, so as I said, is there anything we can change for the better as a result of COVID-19, coronavirus and lockdown? It's been a very difficult time for the world. Um, but also the country, um, our community has been affected. But has there been any positives as a result of, 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 of the lockdown and COVID-19 that we could actually change for the better? Now, there's a few things I'm going to go over here that I've noticed have changed. Um, first, first of all, gratitude for new heroes, you know, people who did every day to day kind of jobs now are treated in a totally different regard with the utmost respect. The NHS celebrated 72nd uh, anniversary this weekend. We've got a lot to be thankful for them, and long may that continue. So should we be remembering them, I don't know, annually or something like that? Or should it be more regular than that? Now, supermarkets, during the start of lockdown, you, you probably saw aisles like this with things like toilet roll being kind of panic bought, you know, and that did affect some people very badly. For example, you can see it in the Instagram uh, uh, a caption there about how older people are more vulnerable people um, were affected by that. So the supermarkets have given uh, certain slots for for people to come in and buy their shopping. So they actually they've got a kind of fair chance of getting everything that they need. So little, for example, you can see nine to eleven. Should that continue for certain people, certain employments, etc. Okay, hotels, um, which won't be used because of uh, lockdown, they opened up for NHS workers and homeless people so that they could um, actually put their head down and uh, for, for a well-earned uh, sleep, for example, with NHS before they started their second shift. So that any hotel near, near, near to the hospital, that they could go straight to after shift, get their sleep, and then go back to work. And similarly, it was very difficult to hang homeless people, so the hotels let them in. Uh, Gary Neville there owns a, uh, a hotel by Old Trafford, uh, Manchester United's Grand, and he opened that for the NHS workers. So, should hotels continue to do that if they ha if they can't sell a room, but well, they do open it up for key workers? Another thought, perhaps. Now, um, companies started making different things that they had been before lockdown. Uh, Louis Vuitton, um, as a famous fashion brand, brand um, was making um, obviously perfume, aftershave, etc. Before. And uh, the brewery there, uh, Punk IPA, um, they both actually stopped what they were making to make hand sanitizer, and they gave that away for free to give their bit for for the crisis. So again, should they be doing a little bit of that? Not not entirely changing their um, kind of uh, products to hand sanitizer, but should they be including that and giving it away for free? Okay. We also made PPE, and it's Mr. Forward there who did a brilliant job making over a thousand visors that went across Caerphilly in, into hospitals and care homes. So should we be doing our bit and continue to do that as well? He was a star, by the way, Mr. Forward. Well done to him. And thank you to all those who, who, who did uh, generously give um, some money to a donating page so we could buy the plastic. Um, a, a great community project. Um, there were virtual concerts and festivals. We're in the time of festival season now with Glass and Bruce, which should have been last week, um, whereby stars and, and other people have given um, free live um, 
gigs, etc., um, on Instagram, Facebook, etc., should they continue to do that? So you've got uh, Coldplay, John Legend, Lady Gaga, there's orchestras and DJs, etc. So should they continue to, to do that and, and give up their time um, to, to keep us all kind of entertained? Um, as a result of lockdown across the world, um, obviously people went out about in their cars, um, planes, etc. So the air quality has improved greatly. So some cities are, are now actually taking um, taking that on board and have actually reduced the number of cars allowed into, into a town and city. So is that something that we should continue now? Because you can see from the photos, the difference in air quality has been huge over lockdown. Community support um, across all authorities, and Kofili being one, um, because people weren't in work, they needed food. Um, they didn't have enough money to feed the family. So for food banks and, and, and communities actually giving up their food um, to help others. Uh, community phone calls from, from people who, who uh, volunteered to actually phone people over the age of 75, 80 to see how they were and also do face-to-face -face calls, obviously kind of in the door, but through windows to check on them. So should that continue as well? Because the community spirit and support has been fantastic for that. Yes. So there's lots of ways, and there's just a few there, that um, things have changed. So what I'd like to do is just to, to discuss with your, your, your teacher now that we all want to get back to as normal as possible. If there's any opportunity to change one thing for now, what should it be? And uh, and why do you think that? So that's what I'd like you to discuss for five minutes. A really interesting new thought. Or is it just about getting back to normal? Or is there something we can actually learn that would, would, would benefit us all? Okay, so please pause the video and have a discussion on those points there. Okay, thanks. I hope we had a really good discussion. So today, um, please remember the safety expectations. It, they're there to keep you safe. You um, ask the teachers to play Mr. Williams' video uh, from last week. If you need to, please follow the one-way sign signs. Um, on also, make sure the washing of hands, social distancing, etc. It is important for, for all of us that. Um, we're still checking in and catch up. Any concerns you have, please speak to us, whether it be at the end of the day, at break time, etc. It's anything worrying we want to know so we can help you. And there will be an end. We will follow this then with the well-being activity that falls on from last week's. And then you'll have two lessons to get those brains in gear. Okay, so um, some more thinking required. And obviously, you'll have your teacher there to help you. So there's lots to do today. Um, Remember, our school motto is, is caring and achieving, and the focus is very much on the care and see how you are and feel okay. So, please have a great day. It's important that you do have a chance to social with your friends from a safe distance, and, and, and you talk to your teacher as well as we start to get back to some, some normality for whatever September in school looks like, because I don't know. But have a good, great day, and, and uh, we'll see you next week. Okay, I'll see you around. Thank you. Bye-bye.